Hello and welcome to this brand new series which I've entitled Eco Farm on No Man's Land. The premise of the whole series is that we need to farm as ecologically friendly as possible. So there's a couple of rules that we have to follow. First of all, we can only buy electric vehicles. Secondly, any production that we have, any buildings that we have, must be accompanied by some, for some form of um, electrici electricity generation that does not involve fossil fuels. So basically it must have a solar powered panel or it must have a um, a wind generator or something along those lines associated with any building that we build that would use electricity. If it doesn't use electricity then so be it. There are a couple other bits and pieces that we'll get through as we go through this series. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a water generation point or a water point. It's going to be powered by a windmill and that's just so that we can have water available. I'll just get this orientated nicely. It shouldn't be too bad. I don't think that that's going to change the area up front too much in terms of landscaping. I think it's probably going to square it off at the back. We'll give it a go, see what happens. So of course with this one we won't have to add any additional power sources because it's powered by its own, by wind. So that's good as they say. <laughs> so um, we've basically started on We start with nothing basically. We've got 216,000 euros minus whatever we paid for the wind, the windmill. And we have a few of the property or a few of the plots around the original starting point on, on um, no man's land. Uh, that we can use and also we'll show you in a little while I mean as part of the setup um, we have established a little town just outside the shop area that we have to service with our products basically right, so there we go that's all nice and fresh water This is a field that is withered, so we will have to do something with that. Right, at the moment we've just got the very, very small tractor. The ridgy check, I think I'll get rid of it fairly soon. What I want to do is I want to get the Hurleyman electric tractor. I think that's got about 130,000 uh, 130, 130, horsepower. So that should uh, work out quite fine for us. It'll certainly get us going. I think the first thing we'll do is we'll get a subsoiler as well. We can pick it up with the, the Hurleyman. Getting ahead of myself here and there we go. Let's see if we can go and get this. We need to. There it is. There. What are we doing? Uh, thought I'd just check the uh, the uh, sales, but of course it'll never be 
what I need in there. <laughs> so I must make, just make sure we get the electric version, not the uh, diesel version. So yeah, EL motor, we'll get the 132 horsepower motor. The easy way to tell is that it doesn't have an exhaust pipe on it. <laughs> Get the uh, I prefer the green Herliman color. We'll get the change to that. Front hydraulics, I think we should put on here. Yeah. Warning lights. Why don't we get them on both sides? I think. There we go. White tires and weights we've already done. Put a front loader attached on it. It's got to be fully loaded. This thing's going to have to do a lot of work. So we, um, we get the green Hurleyman color, I think. That one there, that's the one I like. We'll have that painted. It costs a bit of money. We've got our main workhorse now. So at some time during the, the game we will trade in our small little Reggie track, tra uh, tractor. I have my eye on another electric vehicle but that'll be a little way down the line. We'll get, uh, get to show you that at a later stage. Let's get this port. Uh, it's pushing at 130. We've only got 132. Let's see if we can go one down. It'll give us a little bit of. It's 120. Yeah. Gives us a bit of breathing space on the horsepower. Although the torque should be pretty good on the electric vehicles, technically speaking. Let's get that hooked up and we'll go and. Uh, We'll go and plow up the field. I suppose we better get a weight as well. Gonna going to need it, especially for the when we're using the front loader. I think we'll get this one that we can increase the weight at a later stage. There we go. That'll that'll do for now. Let's get it let's get that all hooked up. So as I mentioned earlier on, um, we do need to, well, one of the criteria of the game is that we can only purchase electric, electric vehicles. But that doesn't mean that we can't use diesel vehicles. We can lease them, but for every vehicle that we lease, for every diesel or petrol vehicle or whatever type of vehicle that uses fossil fossil fuel we have to um, plant a tree so there's a bit of a sliding scale so a combine harvester or a, we'll need to plant three trees um, I think uh, we'll do three pine trees so it's a uh, so we have to think about what we're going to be buying. So this is the little village area that we've uh, built. Let's just back up and go and show you the accommodation areas. This is where people live in the town. Got a couple of apartment blocks up here. must uh, spend a bit of time helping them to uh, level off their lands a bit or just smooth them off a bit looks like a bit of a dip down there 
not too much of a problem. We'll, uh, we'll help out the residents as we go along. I think this is a slightly more upmarket area. Some nice big houses here. It's a bit of a suburb type feeling to this uh, little area. All the people here have, have a bit of money. Some apartments there. Slightly different houses down this end. But yeah. So these are the people basically we have to keep fed. And then just across the road is where they will be doing all the purchasing of their different bits and pieces. Sweet shop for the kids. Supermarket. Bit of a parking lot at the back of the supermarket and sweet shop. And then they've got, uh, I think they've got a restaurant, yeah, they've got a restaurant coming up here and pizzeria. Got a farm shop as well. It's a bit of a parking lot at the back here as well, small little one. Got the farm shop here where the people can buy farm produce. Got a couple of uh, hot dog vendors in the park area. This is the uh, garden centre. And of course, a little village like this can't be without its pub. So this is where people come to have their sundowners. Right, let's get back to the farm and get working. So that's the people that we need to keep fit. It's a little bit of a trek up to the farm of course, but uh, that is the nature of no man's land. It's a lot of area that can be developed. So we don't have a house on the farm yet, we've just got a tent, pretty comfortable there for now. Must try and get something built before uh, winter sets in, if we can. We can of course make use of loans, We're using the um, enhanced loan system. So we can take loans up to the maximum that we are allowed just to keep us uh, keep us moving forward. So we're going to start with sort of plowing up and creating some land for us to work on and then I think we will steer away because of our eco nature from cows in terms of animals. I think the animals that we will look at will be chickens to start with and then we're going to we're going to need some animals because of course we're going to have to use natural fertilizers so we're going to have to use manure to fertilize our fields. We will be buying in the manure to start with um, but I'm thinking Normally speaking, you wouldn't have used cows, but I'm thinking we'll skip using cows simply because of the eco nature of the game, as I mentioned earlier. And I think we'll eventually get some pigs going. So pigs um, generate a lot less methane, well, substantially less methane, in terms of their the eating habits. They are single stomach eaters if you want to call it that so uh, they don't generate a lot of a lot of methane or a lot of uh, 
gases which are detrimental to the environment. They do create a little bit, but then again, so do us humans. So, so yeah, we will eventually get pigs, and pigs will be our main animal crop, or animal crop, our main animal husbandry, along with uh, with uh, chickens. So we we'll get eggs going as well, and of course, uh, we'll be able to get manure from the chickens. Uh, and also from the uh, from the um, pigs, of course, once we get them going. But that's a little way down the line. I get ahead of myself again. Just do the headlands here. Get all these potatoes ploughed into the ground. this onto a bit of a time lapse soon. So yeah, we're going to have to be very careful on the size of fields that we make. Of course we there are no electric harvesters at the moment so we will have to plant some trees to get the once we harvest and I think we must probably going to have to utilize a at least a medium sized diesel tractor to to create fields if I want to do them at any sort of decent pace and we can create fields with very small um, plows which this tractor will be able to handle, but I don't want to really create fields with, uh, with subsoil as I prefer to do with plows. So we will work that out during the course of the of this episode, maybe. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how far we get. Let's get this field sorted. So that went off without too much of a hitch. So we're going to get some manure delivered in. We we'll have to go and get a bit of a muck spreader. I think we should be able to get something that can be pulled with this tractor, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We need to build ourselves a shed to put our implements in as well. We can show you the so it's a little bit difficult to work out exactly what we need to put on for each vehicle or for each uh, building that we build but I'm going to try and kind of just balance it out as we go along so certainly for the first shed that we put up now we will put up a solar panel of course the solar panels will generate some income as well because um, we will be selling some of our electricity generated in this way back to the back to the national grid and that will give us some sort of income as well so even if the sheds do not have lights in them we still need to put up uh, some sort of solar panel. Didn't really like that shed. That's going to be too big for now. I've got to sort through ones. Also, I want ones that have got a nice little pitch on the roof so that we can. That lizard one looks good. I like that. It's nice and big. It'll think it'll fit in that little concreted area quite nicely. It's got a nice sort of 
pitch on the roof at the back. So I think we should be able to put a solar panel on there. Of course the um, the electricity the electricity generating mechanism, be it a solar panel or a wind generator, um, does not need to be right next to the vehicle the vehicle, <laughs> not right next to the um, building for argument's sake um, we're about to get quite a few solar panels on the back of the shed so if we put up a building somewhere else we can put the solar panel on the shed of course but I want to try and use a bit of a um, a mixture of uh, of renewable energy generation is that going to work? I don't think so. I might need a slightly different pitch. These solar panels are a relatively new mod. Give you different pitches. Different degrees of pitch, should I say. So you can kind of match it up to the pitch of the roof. You see, that's not going to work. Let's try the next one. Uh, that one, here we go, that looks better. Yeah, so it fits in quite nicely. Of course, because you're going to put it on the vehicle, you need to... You need to allow, allow it to overlap with an, another vehicle, so with another building. Why am I saying vehicles? I get this, this, these things in my mind and then they just run, ram, run rampant. And I can't get them out and I keep saying the same thing wrong thing over and over again. In <laughs> any case, it's not a major problem. Right, so that'll generate us a thousand euros a month. Solar panels of course are the, are the way to go, but as I said I want to do different gen um, generation For power generation, renew, re renewable energy generation as I can. Let's get this parked off and then I think we'll go and look for a, a max spreader. Let's see what happens. There we go, that's done. Right, let's get on down to the store. And we'll go and pick up a um, lime spreader. Can have to spread some lime. Here we go. I think we'll use the breed doll. Yeah, it does do lime. Does fertilize a bit. Of, can't use it. Can't use that. Because we're not going to be using any purchasable fertilizer unless it's uh, from organic product, so from vegetables or things like that. If we can get, if we can find that, we can use that. But at this stage, let's get some lime done. So lime, of course, is a natural product, so I have no problem with using lime. Let's buy a couple of bags. Didn't realise until after I'd done it that I pretty much overcated. <laughs> uh, keep forgetting that the lime bags are 2,000 litres. I thought that I wouldn't even. I didn't think I would need 8,000 litres, but I thought I'd buy a little bit extra. But we've got a lot extra. We're probably not going to have to buy lime for a long time. <laughs> Let's get this filled up and then uh, somewhere along the line we'll have to make a plan and come and pick up the rest. I suppose I could have got lime from the from the front of the shop. I keep forgetting about that on uh, no man's land. So just to the left around the corner you can buy, I think you can buy lime there as well, you can certainly buy quite a few different products there. Of 
course we could have it delivered to the farm we could have a silo on the farm we'll probably get that organized later on in the series so we don't have to traipse up and down we'll just get them to come fill up some silos on the farm and uh, pay for it as we use it right there we go we're full let's get going yeah there we go just to the left there you can see pretty sure you can get lime there well when I say pretty sure I don't think I've ever bought lime there but I know there's lots of things that you can get from there so yeah sure it'll be okay right let's get back up to the farm and go and start spreading there we go this shouldn't take too long Yeah, so at this point in time it's uh, you know we've started with very little so we going to be building most things up from scratch so all we've really got is this little field so we're going to have to make our own fields yeah this is not going to take long this is not exactly the biggest field in the world Got to start somewhere. Oops, <laughs> stuck in a tree. Is it reaching the end? I can't see. Hopefully, it is. Oh, with the lime, I'm not too worried. offload this and then we'll nip back to the shop and go and pick up the rest and we we'll, can store it in the in the shed until we need it here we are back at the shop we're just going to pick up the, the rest of the lime don't know yet whether I'll keep the lime spreader on the farm for a little while because I do want to I do want to um, make some new fields so I think we may just hang on to it for a little while we'll see we'll see right now let's just get this back to the to the farm the other thing that um, because we've been playing in eco mode basically um, we won't be cutting down any trees either the only problem I foresee with about that is when we leasing fossil fuel vehicles diesel or petrol vehicles and we need to plant trees if we if we hit the maximum allowable then we'll have to reconsider our carbon footprint penalty I was thinking about putting in uh, um, well, what did they call them carbon um, well carbon tickets I suppose you call them they do have a name I've just forgotten what it is now where you can buy carbon credits I think they're called so you can buy carbon credits that um, utilize the amount of money that you pay for um, mitigating the greenhouse effects of uh, of fossil fuel burning but I think the most effective way is to plant a tree so until we can't plant trees that's the way we're going to be um, dealing with that situation in this series while I was waffling on there I just decided to buy a front loader because we're going to have to move those those pallets into the into the shed and you always need a front loader on a farm so we get that bought 
where are we now? 96,000. It's going to dwindle fast. We were at 216, so we're going to have to be a bit careful. We should have a reasonable credit line with the bank. It's not going to be huge. Let's just dump this off here and then I'll put it into the shed. Get lost in the bush. <laughs> I'll just do the first one. I won't put you through the pain of watching me uh, move all of these pallets into the into the shed. Oh, yeah. You buy, it. <laughs> you buy. It. Wait, because you know. That when you, you're going to need it somewhere along the line and then you have it in the wrong place. <laughs> oh dear. I think I just dropped it off in the bush as well. Hopefully we can find it as we reverse back. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. Let's try again. Rain. Not too worried about that in terms of where we are at the, at the moment. We'll just soak the lime into the ground that we just put put down and we'll get some manure on there as well pretty soon. I thought I might be able to pick up two at a time. Obviously not. I'm trying to get too close to the edge. <laughs> That's good enough. Well, we've just got them all loaded up. Did say that I wouldn't. Uh, bore you too much with the with just moving those pallets into the shed. Right. Let's get sorted. I think we need to get a muck spreader. Let's just change the weights first. So we don't have it in the wrong space space in the wrong spot. go. Nice. As they say in the classics. Right, which mix bed are we going to get now? I'm not sure if... Uh, we will see. We'll find out now. I wasn't sure whether they would specify what sort of um, horsepower you needed to run the max spreader. We can't get anything too big because why why did I go and do that? I needed a max spreader before I plant seeds. Before I plant. Might as well buy some seed while we've got it there. Maybe two bags. There we go. I haven't used that one. Doesn't yeah, 94 horsepower, so we're about to use that quite easily. We'll use that and uh, see how it goes. We are having some um, manure delivered to the farm, so we should be able to go and pick that up and get to the farm. Looks a 
about right for the size of the field that we're doing. Here we go, back at the farm with the muck spreader. I think they've dropped it off yeah, just in front of that rock there. Load up from there. How much is that going to cost us? Shouldn't be too much. 161 euros. Now we'll see how this mic spreader works. As I said, I've never used this one before, so. Let's get it going. Unfold it. Turn on that. No, I don't think I like this. Why is it just spreading on the edges? No, that's not right. We'll do this field with it and just see what it comes out like, but it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look right at all. So I don't know whether this is... No, this is completely unsatisfactory. Well, we have it now. Let's make the best of it for now and then get rid of it once we've emptied it. I don't want to waste that, that manure that is there. Just try and get rid of this, spread it around as much as we can. Yeah, really not happy with that. It's not, I just checked it there, it's only about 16% uh, of the fertilizer done, so we'll just get rid of this, do this field, and then we'll get rid of this um, muck spread and go and look for another one. See, it's just, it's not, it's not, it's not properly fertilized. Some places are 20 something percent, some places are 9, 10. Nah. Rubbish machine. Or rubbish operator haven't used, used it properly. Shall we just finish that field off? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll get that. I think I'll, I'll leave it there for now, but yeah, not happy. Not happy at all. We'll plant, plant some oats though, just to get going. I'll deal with the muck, muck spreader at a later stage. Got to think about how I'm going to do that. Now I think we'll just get the planting done. What shall we do? What crop shall we do? Uh, yeah. So we won't put any fertilizer in there. It can fertilize as well, but we can't use normal fertilizers. Right. I think, I think I'm going to do something like oats.
Hmm. What should I do? Should I do wheat? If we're gonna do chickens. Uh, not sure. Not sure. Let's have a look and see what we can get money wise from. So wheat um yeah, so oats does bring in quite a bit more but then we'd have to buy some wheat in if we decide to do chickens but i'm not quite sure when we're going to get around to doing the chickens so this could be a good decision or a bad decision but i think i'm going to go with with oats I'm going to go with oats. Bite the bullet and go. We'll only have to buy in for a season or so. Well, we couldn't plant wheat or anything at this point in time in any event, so yeah. Right, we'll get that done. Right, have we got everything? Right, so we've got oats down at the bottom. There's no fertilizer, that's good. Let's get going. Plant our first crop. Fertilizer is not good. The compost was a abject failure. We have to work out a way of Oh we'll just we'll try another machine I think. Another spreader. I do like this uh, very cheap planter. It's mechanical so it doesn't have many parts that can fail. Just do a double head headland because it trails behind. Um, it does need a bit of a turning circle to swing around. We don't seem to be using a lot of seed, so that's good. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how the whole series is going to work out. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the challenge of using the small equipment because the electric vehicles are essentially small equipment. Um, but having the flexibility with penalties and feeling the pain of the penalties when we use um, fossil fuel vehicles. Just get this done and I think this is pretty much once we've planted this is where we're going to end this first episode. do hope that you've enjoyed it and are looking forward to the rest of the series. The first couple of episodes may feel a bit slow because we're getting things going but I'll try to speed them up as much as possible while still giving you the gist of exactly what's happening. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe. And of course we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Just one little bit to go. Just about done. Nice bit of rain to soak the seeds in and get them growing. Well, thank you for watching again and we'll see you next time. Cheerio.